I could order this, but I'm not, because Mike Okuda and Denise Okuda are right. <laughs> About what? <laughs> You know, there really was no enormous danger potential in coming here. There was only the chance, not just a chance, but absolutely uh, to be thrilled right to your core. And I, I had been here before, and I had done some tours before, and I came back, and I gushed to Mike and Denise, and I said, you must absolutely, you cannot, you must come see this. You will, you, your mind will be blown. It's just amazing. And, and when we finally came here, you know, when we, used, when we were at Paramount, you know, we were never supposed to, have, to, to take guests on the set. And of course, occasionally we'd sneak people on. And you'd see that look in their eyes like, oh my God, here I am. And, and I know that's what, the, that's what both of us had. We, we walk into, into that set and it's like, I'm home again. I'm, I'm walking through these places that I've walked through so many times in my mind that I feel like I know it, even though it's, it's only on television. And now you walk through it and it's real. Yeah, but how many times and how many people get to live their dreams? I mean, how many times have we, again, walked down the corridors of the Enterprise, pretended that we were in sick bay or we were in the briefing room, and we knew there's no way we're ever going to be able to do that. And then we were fortunate enough to work on the different incarnations of Star Trek, and we did, you know, relics, a little bit of the bridge, and then we did DS9 trials and tribulations, a little bit more, and the corridors, and we did Intermirror Darkly for Star Trek Enterprise, but not like this. Oh, no. I mean, this this is lit, and it's so well done. Uh, and to have to have all the sets laid out in the actual positions that they were uh, that they were back in the 60s. To be able to walk down the corridor and, and turn there, there's sick bay, and there's a transporter room, and there's engineering, there's the briefing room. It's, um, it's a dream come true. It absolutely is. Well, I mean, especially for us who worked on the shows for almost two decades, and we've, wor we've walked the decks of many Federation starships, and we've been on many amazing sets, and many, many Star Trek episodes. And you'd think that we might be jaded, not a chance. Not a chance. And coming here was as probably, even though we worked on all those amazing shows and all those amazing sets, it, it just doesn't compare to coming here and seeing the sets complete and lit and so lovingly recreated. It's a, you know, a slingshot through time. I can't speak for you guys. I can only speak for myself. I've had a blast the last two days. I mean, we've been we've been so blessed to be able to welcome people into uh, this space, telling them when we first brought them in, we're going to divide it. We're going to divide it into walking on the the corridors of the Enterprise to walking on that ship that you've always imagined. But we're also going to talk about the production and the genius of of art director um, Matt Jeffries and Gene Roddenberry and Bob Justman and all those folks that worked in the 1960s to to bring these sets to life. But it was. It was an amazing experience to be able to watch people's faces, don't you think? Oh, I mean, yeah. they, we would yeah. open the doors and they would come in and they would just go, oh my gosh, I mean, we're here. I mean, it's like they don't, they kind of like they want to pinch themselves. Do you get that feeling? Oh. I mean, in some folks, I kind of wanted to stand next to them because I could see they were kind of shaking. Remember that one girl that came in here, she could hardly breathe? I'm like, oh honey, I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, um it, when you come in here, it's, it's such a thrill that goes right to the core of your being. But to get to take people through it who've never seen it before, you relive it every time you see them. You look at that look in their eyes and their, the, the sense of wonder, that sense of delight, that sense of coming home. And we've all felt it. And, and, to, and to be able to share that with other people. To, uh, with people who love it as much as we do, is just just so magical. And another magical thing, it's it's and it's happened over and over again. These are strangers. We've never met them before. Most of them we've never met. But you know, you get that feeling of family. And so, what I have to say to people, um, if if they're thinking about coming here, please do for, for multiple reasons. Number one, it's it's a dream come true and you get to walk down the corridors of the Enterprise, but you need, get to meet friends you don't even know you had yet. We've talked about that so many times, that you have this kind of shared childhood experience um, 
where when you meet people who are like that, you have an instant rapport right away. You feel like you've known each other for years. Everybody who's here who works on these sets and has made it happen, they're all really wonderful, great people, and we're just tickled to meet all of them. But we're all kindred spirits. I could walk up to anyone the first time that I, you know, that I came here, and we could have a conversation like we, we're old friends. We're all old friends who've never met. The people working on, uh, on these amazing sets, but also the people coming in and visiting. Each of them, are, they walk in a little, not quite sure what to expect, and then, then they step through those doors, and, and suddenly their eyes light up, and they're family. And you know, Gene Roddenberry, Gene Roddenberry's philosophy is so beautiful and so positive and so welcoming. And we live in this really crazy world right now. Turn on the TV, it's all down and, and, and just very depressing. And I found it so uplifting to come here, to do something positive, to be someplace positive, to be with folks that live the Gene Roddenberry philosophy of acceptance. And it doesn't matter what color your skin is or, or what country you came from, you're welcome here. And um, I found that to be uplifting as well. Absolutely. You know, I think we need Gene Roddenberry Star Trek more than ever. We need today. Gene Roddenberry Star Trek more than ever. Well, Star Trek was a product of the 60s. It was a product, a product of a very turbulent time. The country was divided. Um, we were, there were economic strife. There was racial strife. And uh, in a way, we're in a, in a very similar situation. So to, ha to have the, the positive message of Gene Roddenberry, the, um, the, the, the vision of a better tomorrow, the notion that if we work together, if, we're, if, uh, if we are compassionate, if we're smart, uh, we can have a better tomorrow. And this place is a symbol of that. Absolutely, and I, and I want to also talk about um, James Cauley and the extraordinary gift he's given all of us and the extraordinary crew that have put these sets together. There aren't blueprints. You don't, you don't know what these things look like. You've got to study hours and hours and hours of film study, and then you have to make it right. And James Cauley, make sure that everybody gets it right. And so the gist of that is you walk into something that is that looks correct. It they looks, sweated the details. They sweated the details, and it feels right. Because you all know, we and other folks that enjoy Star Trek, they're very discerning customers. They, they, they know their stuff. You can't pull the wool over Star Trek fans' eyes. You really can't. And you come in here and it just feels like it looks right. Oh, you, I mean, when you come in and, and, it, and it looks right, it smells right, it tastes, th th that, the feeling, you, you get an incredible feeling of belonging mm. when you're here and everyone wants to feel that. But, you know, so often things uh, in life can be disappointing, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> you'll come here and you'll be absolutely amazed. I've been here for two days and I haven't stopped. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 so we're on a mission. Our mission is to go home and to tell our friends all about this and to say you have got to come here. We're coming back, I don't know when, but we're coming back. Oh, absolutely, it's, I it's, can't wait. And, and you know, the thing is, to be here with you guys, I mean, we've been together, we're family, and. And, and we met because of Star Trek. And uh, it was such a thrill for me to be with you two here. Uh, I, I've been here before, I've given the tour before, but this is like super special. So let's do it again. Let's please do it again. Okay. <laughs>